Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name's Ken. Today's experiment is Peeps Experiments. So I'm going to do three different experiments today, and I hope you enjoy. Please remember to like and subscribe if you like these experiments, and thanks for watching. So our first experiment is going to be microwaving the Peeps. So basically Peeps are made of marshmallows, air, and some sugar-coated candy um, on the outside. So we're going to mark the Peeps on parchment paper, wax paper, to be able to see the size. Then we're going to put it in the microwave, and we're only going to do it for 15 seconds. And then we're going to see how much it expands uh, with the microwave as it goes. And it's very hard to see through here, but you can see it's starting to get bigger uh, through a little bit through the screen there on the microwave and I will open it up a second and it did increase its size quite some It got a little bit big there um, As you can see so the final results pulling it off the parchment paper um, You can see it probably at least did three times the size um, By putting it in the microwave for 15 seconds. So not bad and a fun experiment. Watch out, it is very hot, so use adult supervision. So for the second Peeps experiment, we're just using the Peeps on a white plate and we're putting warm water um, in the middle of it, just like you do with Skittles experiment. Um, the Peeps are the same way. They have a sugar-coated color on the outside of it. And you can see with the warm water, and this is in fast motion, so it is sped up a little bit. But uh, I love the way the colors stay separated, just like the Skittles, and uh, forms a really bright, vibrant uh, uh, design in there, which I thought was pretty cool. <laughs> and the best thing about this, just like the Skittles, is you after you're done, <laughs> you still have a peep street. Uh, it tastes a little, little wet, but it's so good. I love science. All right, so for the last experiment, I have a bowl of water. And the question is, when we drop a Peeps candy, which is marshmallow with sugar around it, in water, will it float? And so we'll probably, most of you probably predict it's going to float. So let's see. we we'll put it in. Oops, turn on its side, doesn't really matter. And it floats, right? But the question is, do all Peeps candies float, right? And after time, does the water soak into it? Will it sink? Um, but if you take a Peeps candy, and because it's full of air, because it's a marshmallow, and we squeeze it to get the air out, will it sink? So I'm not doing anything besides taking the air out of it, and let's see if it'll sink. Nope, still floats. And even though it's on the surface, I took most of the air out, it is still floating. So I'm going to give it one more try. So I got it on a plate here and I'm pressing down super hard on it to squeeze all the air out. You will hear it crackle because you will hear the air escaping from the marshmallow itself. Um, I put a little flour or Pam on my hands so the marshmallow doesn't stick to your hands and also on the plate. Um, once you get it super flat, um, you feel like you got all the air in, then you can roll it into a ball to condense it down so you can get that weight into it um, and make sure all the air escapes. And then we will give it a final test. So I hope this works. All right, so after flattening it out over on the counter and then rolling it into a ball, hopefully now we're able to sink the peep uh, by taking all the air out of it and be able to beat the challenge and to be able to make a peep uh, sink. So here we go. Ta -da! We're finally able to make the peeps sink. There's a lot of air in those marshmallows, and so it was a little bit of tr trial and error, and we finally was able to do that. So if you like this video, uh, this ex these experiments, please click thumbs up and to subscribe, and thanks for watching.